My entire architecture portfolio cost me zero pounds in software fees. In this video, I will discuss cheap and easy to learn software options that you must learn as an architecture student. I'm a recent Masters of Architecture student and software has helped me produce these drawings. But using software comes with a cost, both financially and obviously time. Over the past six years, I have identified softwares that have cost me almost nothing and have saved me hours of work. There are three types of softwares that I will be discussing. 3D modeling, visualization, and editing tools. Okay, 3D modeling takes a really simple idea and turns it into a building. Also known as Rhino is a great option. I personally use Rhino throughout my entire master's degree. Rhino has a range of modeling tools, including freeform capabilities, meaning you can set up a concept design very quickly. Rhino is a reasonably straightforward software to learn, and depending on your level, you can increase the complexity of your model pretty quickly. You can download a 90 day free trial of Rhino, or you could buy a full single user student license for $195. Bearing in mind, this is a permanent license. So if you were to pay for that, it would cost you $65 every year for three years of studying. SketchUp is a very popular software to use both in universities and practice for its ease of use. It has a clear and straightforward interface, which many softwares don't have. You can quickly pick up SketchUp and create 3D models almost instantly but you can also create highly complex models as well. The 3D warehouse is a key feature of SketchUp with its vast online resource of models, components, and materials. If you want a model of a dog, I'm sure SketchUp has got it. If you can think of anything that you want in your model, SketchUp will have it in its warehouse. And the good thing about SketchUp is it gives you different product options. You can either get the SketchUp free, which of course is free, or you can get a SketchUp Pro, which is $55 a year for a student. So SketchUp, in my opinion, is probably the most popular free and easy to learn software. And a bonus 3D modeling software that I wanted to introduce you guys to today is Snaptrude. Snaptrude has the ease of SketchUp, but the power of Revit. And I mean, that sounds pretty good. Snaptrude is a web-based collaborative design tool. Therefore, you don't need to download it, which is ideal. Snaptrude, like SketchUp, has a very simple, clear and easy to use interface. It has automation and parametric modeling features to help speed up the design process. You can use BIM data to control costs, design sustainability, run daylight simulation, and more. But a key feature of Snaptrude that makes it a great option for people in architecture is its collaboration capabilities. You can share and document communication in real time, which makes it a great option if you're working in teams in architecture. And it is totally free for the first three projects. And once you've used up your three projects, there is then a yearly free for a professional account for $499 a year. So make sure you, you use those three projects. Then of course, there are BIM softwares. And I mean, BIM is a daunting thing for most architecture students. We always try to avoid it, but eventually you're gonna have to learn it at some point if you're going into practice. Revit is a BIM software that goes beyond 3D modeling and it includes data about building components and systems. This data can include material specifications, cost estimates, energy performance and systems. BIM is great for collaboration amongst architects, engineers, contractors and other stakeholders in a project. Revit is a great software to learn for your future prospects. Many practices are taking on people with Revit skills. However, during university, I don't think Revit is necessarily required. I would personally try and stay away from Revit during school because it can be quite restrictive. It might hinder your creativity. And so you could probably aim to stick with the easier options like Rhino and SketchUp. Students can get a one year free education license with Autodesk, which is pretty good really. One year free is ideal. Or you can pay 2,940 pounds a year for a license. And I mean, you're probably going to avoid that if you can. So those 3D modeling tools are great for visualizing an idea, turning a sketch into something tangible, something that looks like a building, which you can then work into, extract drawings from, extract visualizations from, to be able to present and communicate to a client, to a tutor, to a critique. And so the next software type we're going to be talking about is visualization. Visualization softwares help to create photorealistic representations of your projects. You can apply materials, textures, you can change the virtual environments, you can apply vegetation and all kinds of different objects to be able to help communicate your projects. Enscape is the tool that I've used for the past two years. It is a real-time visualization tool. And what they mean by real-time is when you're working in your 3D modeling software, such as Rhino or SketchUp, as you're making changes to your model, it is updating in the rendering software. And Enscape is a plugin for 3D modeling software such as Rhino, SketchUp, Revit, etc. You can basically choose what software you want to plug it into. 
Enscape has a simple interface and is really easy to navigate. You can walk through your projects, explore in virtual reality, materialize your projects and add many aspects to your projects, all of which are standard features amongst visualization softwares. And the winner here is that Enscape is completely free for 12 months. And for every year that you are a student, you can renew your license. So technically it's completely free throughout your time while studying. V-Ray is very similar to Enscape. I've used it in the past, but I've always opted for Enscape because V-Ray is slightly more challenging to use. However, it could produce higher quality renders. Reviews on G2.com suggest that V-Ray is a better option for architectural rendering than Enscape. And the difference why I have chosen Enscape over V-Ray is that V-Ray is 114 pounds a year for an educational license. Blender is an exciting and versatile option because you can also model in Blender. You can build models and render them in the same software, which is, it makes it a kind of one-stop option for you. You can create animated films, visual effects, art, 3D art, motion graphics, interactive 3D models, video games, and more. You can do a lot in Blender. I think it's a pretty unique software. So yeah, I think it's a great one to learn. But obviously, consequently, due to its numerous features, it's a lot more challenging to learn. It's definitely a steeper learning curve and it's going to take you a lot more time to get used to and kind of understand. And it is free, which is obviously perfect. And the final visualization software that I wanted to touch on is D5 Render. This has become a very popular rendering software within architecture. I think also it's another great option. And it is free with a community download completely. It's an unlimited license, it's completely free. D5 Pro license is $360 a year, or you can get a D5 educational license, which gives you a 180 day free trial, essentially a free license for 180 days. And you can renew it every year until you graduate. And the third software type that I wanted to talk about is editing tools. And you could also probably call this maybe presentation. I and mean, we're gonna be heavily talking here about the Adobe Suite. The Adobe Suite is currently the go-to software for editing and presentation. But there's obviously different editing softwares that you would use for different things within architecture. The first one is Illustrator. Illustrator is a vector graphics software. In architecture, Illustrator is very popular because you can create vector images based on points, lines, shapes and curves based on the amount of pixels. You can control the line weights when scaling up or down your drawings, which is obviously exactly what you need in architecture when line weights are so important. Photoshop is just the king editing tool. It allows you to edit, layer and compose your architectural drawings. You can turn a very simple line work drawing from Illustrator from this into this by adding colors, textures and layering things and composing your architectural drawings. It is really great for creating architectural drawings that communicate your architectural projects. And finally, when constructing a portfolio or creating any layout presentations for pinups or presentations, InDesign is the go-to place. It is used in architecture for composing architectural portfolios or any other presentation layout and formats. And the cost of the Adobe Suite for students is £16.24 a month which equates to £194.88 a year. And although that might sound quite expensive, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. And a big thing to consider is that there's many universities that actually give the Adobe Suite out to their students for free. So if you're going into university or you're currently in university, I would definitely query the university whether they have access to the Adobe Suite for the students. There really isn't many softwares out there that can really compete with Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. The closest that I would probably suggest is Infinity Photo um, or any of the other Infinity products. And if you were considering any of the Affinity products, the Affinity Photo 2 is £67.99 for a one-off payment, uh, which is actually a pretty good price, really. So these are all the softwares that I would suggest you learn. I hope you got a good insight into what softwares are fairly straightforward to learn, quite easy to learn and pick up that are going to save you time, but also going to save you costs. It's important to find softwares that are going to be suitable for you financially and that are going to be as easy to learn as possible because learning a software is a bit of a learning curve. It's going to take you some time. If you're new to architecture, of course, that might take you slightly longer time to adjust to softwares. And so obviously having a software that is as easy as possible to learn is key. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.